everybody, I'm Josh. And I'm Rachel. And tonight we're taking to the Bellagio for one of the finest steak houses here in all of Las Vegas. Prime by John George. Let's go. All right, we just got to see it. This is a prime table and check out, the fountains are already going. So this view is definitely not going to get old. No. We're going to probably take this in as long as we can, but uh, we started off with some drinks. I went with an old fashioned. I Rachel just went, went with a glass with, of Riesling. Yeah. Yep. But check out this bread that they just brought out. Oh my God. Oh, it's warm. A nice yeast roll. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's what we like that's to call these. That's what we like to call in them. And I, I like think there's the some truffle oil on the butter. We'll find right. out. It just melts. Some kind of. It does melt, so. Nice warm rolls. Six rolls. That means three each. I think we're gonna destroy them. I think we're gonna destroy them. <laughs> All right, good deal. But, loving this so far. All right, very excited for this. So, I had actually been to John George in Trump Tower, New York City, 10, 12 years ago. And uh, tuna ribbons was one of the things I remember the most. So when we start taking this apart, you're going to see these are long ribbons of tuna. Instead of tuna tartare, it's very similar. But it's a very New York style. And the chef actually did it after we asked about it. So excited about that. And then this was a fried rice cake yep. with a chipotle mayo and sashimi of salmon. Yep. Sound good? Looks All right. delicious. Well, let's dig in. Okay, I'm gonna try this appetizer they brought because it looks so pretty. It does. It was actually one of the favorites of the guy that brought it out. Um, he said that it is a very popular one. We have not tried this one before. Mm. I know we said that's Chipotle. <laughs> it keeps There's just so it. many flavors changing in there. I love the fried rice. Is it was a fried rice cake, right? Yeah. And that salmon tastes so fresh, there's no fishiness to it whatsoever. Good. Um, the textures, the flavors just keep building in your mouth. I can't give you a specific one that just stands out because I think it's that umami that just totally develops as you continue to chew. That awesome. is really good. He did Perfect. say too, if we didn't like it, he would eat it for us. <laughs> but <laughs> I like it, so I'm good. We, we appreciate the offer. <laughs> yeah. All right, so. Look at it being all pretty right now, because not, I'm gonna mix yeah, it up. It's not gonna look pretty in a minute. Yeah, he actually said to go ahead and mix it up. Look at these. Oh, that's, that's the what ribbon. you mean by the ribbon. Yeah. Because you normally, um, normally it it's comes chopped, chopped right? Yeah. Okay. And so it looks. It's gonna look gross. Kind of gross. Always, that's how it looks when it is. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I think that's how tartare always ends up looking. It's so pretty when it comes out, and then it looks so bad. <laughs> or, or you either. like keep it separated, but then you don't get all the flavors together. True. All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and take. It looks like noodles. Our it does. waiter just actually came over and he's like, "How is this tuna, tuna noodles?" noodles. <laughs> just like I remember. Um, you can. There's a lot of miso, or the soy miso, I believe, is. Uh, oh um, yeah. And then the. The radishes add a lot of freshness. Thank you. And tart. Is it? Oh. I, and I love that the avocado just yeah. adds a creamy smoothness to it. Sorry, I had oh. to go show them the view of yeah. the best table in How, Vegas. This literally is the best table in Vegas. <laughs> yeah, you can't beat this view. And obviously Josh sure is enjoying that. You're gonna eat this stuff here. <laughs> yeah, he's enjoying that too. I don't know. 
I don't even Rachel, know, Rachel I don't know said, what to start with. <laughs> what am I trying? Because <laughs> I think I'll start with the steak. Yeah, let's start with that. So that is the rib cap. Yeah, and it is cu cooked medium. I like the look oh. of it. Oh. And he did say cut against the grain, which I've never heard before. Wow. Super tender. It's got a nice sear on it, but it's not overly seared. It's just got a nice beef flavor. He did say try it without the sauce first, and I'm not sure I'm gonna need sauce. Yeah. I might try the signature sauce just to try it, but. They do bring you, um, so there's a Bernays sauce, a peppercorn sauce, and then this, I think he said Mirin, mm -hmm. um, which is a house specialty sauce. Um, so we're gonna definitely try those out. Look at these sides though. Holy crap. And that crab leg, oh, I cannot wait to dig into yeah, that let me, either. Let me see that crab leg. Go yeah, ahead and that thing's that. huge. Uh, it's already cracked for you. Yes. Like, this is insane. That's You might oh. as well take a bite, right? Okay. <laughs> That's the cutest fork, by the way. <laughs> it's the cutest little fork. I'm just digging a little piece out yes. of it. Yes. And of course, some melted butter. Oh, it's so sweet. Mm. Good. Mmm. So glad we chose to grab the crab leg with this because, oh man, I'm yeah, gonna we have love to eat crab. that whole thing. <laughs> like, that is you so need good. to settle down. We got a whole lot of other stuff. Yeah. Check out this lobster tail I got coming. I would say, plus you're gonna want a bite of that. I should oh. not eat it all right yes. away. All right, um, should I should I eat my steak or are you gonna eat some other stuff? Well, let me just take a quick bite of Brussels sprouts because as Josh and I mentioned, we haven't had uh, vegetables in a, probably a week. <laughs> yeah, I think we mentioned that to the you know, waiter, but mm -hmm. it's true. Mm. Charred, nice charred Brussels sprout. Bacon? I see bacon in there. A pear? It looks like it. Yeah. Either a pear or an apple. I don't see any sauce, which is okay by me, but it's, I like the char. I, I'm i a real big fan of Brussels sprouts though. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Delicious. All right, my turn. Your turn. Check this thing out. That's a heck of a lobster tail right there. All right, so I ended up with the surf and turf, that which fillet is a is fillet. Nice size, we want medium rare on that. Yeah. And it's super thick. It's got a gigantic lobster tail. Mm hmm Very nice, tender. Simple seasoning. Yep, that's what um, I think the rib cap had yeah. too. Mm -hmm. Some salt and pepper. Perfectly done. Like I said, crazy tender. It's gonna melt in my mouth. Yeah, it looks so good. I mean you could watch it cut, it was simple as well. That's a huge lobster tail. This is ridiculous. This might be the smallest bite I've ever shot for on camera. Yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, sorry. Because <laughs> we're doing some big bites lately. Yeah, we got so much here. <laughs> lobster tail. Oh, I had actually thought there was going to be shell underneath. Oh, that's not. The whole thing is freaking lobster tail. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, I'm going to have more. <laughs> now you're going to go for the bigger bite. Deliciously cooked. I believe he said it was butter poached. Yeah, I think that's what he said when he told us um, about And this is a special tonight. It's not normally on the menu. Correct, correct. This is mm -hmm. not on the menu. Uh, delicious. Very, uh, you know, we've talked before, not fishy. That, that's the key to seafood, right? Agreed. I mean, and you can't go wrong with melted butter, in my mind. Holy like, God. that's why you need it with the seafood. You're gonna so try good. into that uh, truffle lobster mac and cheese? I think I have to. Check God. this out. They that's heard that insane. we liked uh, seafood, so <laughs> definitely recommended this one. Check this out. Going from one lobster to another. Mmm. That's delicious. It does have a heavy truffle flavor. If you're not a fan of truffles, I don't know that I would do it. But for me, I'm okay with the flavor. I think it's really good. And there's lots and lots of lobster in there. You oh. better grab those mashed potatoes too. Yeah. Oh, by the way, these are truffle as well. Yeah. Smooth, buttery, creamy. Exactly can't go wrong. Yeah, can't go wrong with mashed potato. Yeah, let's eat this. Oh, oh my gosh. Awesome. <laughs> that's so cool. Oh, so awesome. Thank you. Thank Enjoy. you so much. All right, so we are here on our honeymoon. So they brought us some awesome dessert. You can see the congratulations there. Cascading uh, this is a, cheesecake. Yeah, cascading. So it's like a softer cheesecake, he said, with a cream sauce on top. And then uh, this is like a molten lava cake. Some ice cream. All right, I got to go to the cheesecake because that's... 
You love cheesecake. Yeah, I do, but I've never seen it done like this. I before. haven't either. So we have eaten a cheesecake like what was that Spanish style cheesecake or something like that? That's what I was kind of hoping it might end up. Yeah, like. but this is a totally different. Yeah, we had that one thing. at Cut. Yep. Uh, over at the Venetian. <laughs> <laughs> I just love the cascading part. It came out with a plastic wrap around it. You see that in the video, but oh man, that looks so, so good. So it's super smooth, creamy. Um, the bottom. Is it like a cookie? It's a little, it's a little cakey. Oh, it is? Okay. Well, you'll love the top. Um, so it's not your classic graham, graham cracker style, but it's very smooth, very easy, delicious. The fruit is ripe, perfect. Mm. Again, I gotta mention while Josh is finishing that bite, like we truly have the best dinner seat in Vegas. Now, we will be able to, uh, Decide if this is truly the best tomorrow. That's true because tomorrow. Give, give a look at the place that we're going to tomorrow. So up there, you have a private balcony and then a larger balcony, and we're gonna be at one of those up at Yellowtail. We've been at Yellowtail many times. We have. So we do know we enjoy it, and we've loved the balcony on it. So. All right, let's go ahead and tear into this. Oh, oh it is boy. a molten lava cake. It is. This yes. is their signature. They said. So, oh, and there's like little chocolate balls, and it looks like some kind of candied nut, right? maybe? I bet this is going to be like a brownie. Oh, I bet If that it is. is, Rachel's going to be all about it. Yeah, I'll this. be all sorts and of excited. And there's vanilla ice cream. It's got to be. Mm. Yeah. That we, is delicious. We truly have been spoiled here on our honeymoon, and this is a no exception. This is amazing. So there's a nice crispy outer shell, ooey gooey center. Beautiful chocolate taste. I might as well try this because one Why more not? bite. Why not? <laughs> There's always room for dessert. I love it. It's been all right. That was insanely good. It was so tasty. Yes. Um, I do want to do a big thank you. Uh, Prime actually did reach out to us, one of their managers. Um, it's a gentleman I have spoke to on social media for about a year about now. A year. Mm -hmm. They did invite us to come and enjoy this meal, and it was awesome. Yeah. I can't, we can't say anything bad. You know, and we can't thank them enough for that. It was a great way to start our married life together. Yes. Yeah, this is our honeymoon. Yep. Um, so it was really appreciative. Uh, what was your favorite bite you had tonight? Um, it's between the crab leg and the uh, rib cap. They were yeah. so good. Oh, but the, then the tuna and that other. I think that yeah, the crab leg. Sushi was so good. The crab leg was really really good. It was. Um, very we were talking good. about like the lobster. The lobster was really good, but when you have the crab cake next to it. The crab leg. The crab leg. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, the crab leg was amazing. It was. It and was so it kind of, it kind of made you forget about the lobster. Um, I think that the flavoring of that tuna was just so over the top, awesome. And then the rib cap, I think, was the the better of the steaks. Yeah, that Such rib cap good was flavor. so good. Yes. Mm -hmm. Again, best table in Las Vegas, best view. Yes. And we can't thank Prime enough for having us tonight. So it was awesome. Yes. Thank you so much. If you're enjoying our videos, make sure to hit that like and subscribe. You can also follow us on social media, Facebook, Instagram, and X, formerly Twitter. All our links are down below. Mm -hmm.